Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 as we are playing as the Dokienos Dynasty in our roleplay series. Alright, so I did realize that we still have not been uh, swaying anybody when we probably should. Let's let's sway our wife, guys. So we'll sway her first. 66% uh, chance of success here. Maybe make her like us a little bit more. So yeah, we'll do that. Uh, as far as uh, other things to do here, guys... Yeah, there's really not a whole lot as far as like intrigue and uh, yeah, I don't really see us doing any any attempts to assassinate anybody, you know, as a content character for no reason, you know. I think we have, a, have to have some type of reason before we do that. I'm wondering if there's anything we can do here with assassination. Now he has a son. Uh, who's a set to inherit the title next? Probably his... Who's this character? I'm just wondering if it would change anything. Nah, probably not. Uh, so we were forced to join a faction. So that hook that we got, that strong hook, was used on us to force us to join this faction to try and install Theodora on the throne here. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Uh, we're still doing that feast, of course, uh, that we were doing at the, the end of the last episode. In awe, after having spoken over dinner for a while, Nikolaus leans over to me to tell me that he finds it impressive how knowledgeable I am about so many different things. He recognizes true intellect, I see. So this will increase our prestige and increase his opinion of us. So a little bit surprising because I, I thought we threw him out <laughs> of the feast, but apparently he's still here. And now he's trying to stay in the feast and he's giving us compliments and stuff. Uh, so I do need to speed that up a little bit there. Um, but yeah, it looks like we, we got a little opinion boost with him. A little surprised by that, guys. Uh, yeah, and I, I wanted to see what's going on with this faction. So our guests do depart, ended up being a successful feast. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this faction situation here against our liege. So, here's the faction install Theodora on the Byzantine throne. This would be a different dynasty, because they still have uh, the same dynasty here on the throne, uh, which we've had for a while. Uh, but, yeah, this would be a, a new dynasty coming to the throne. Uh, now, this princess doesn't have any titles. Again, I, they don't really seem to, to have a reason why they, you know, want to put certain people on the throne, typically. But in this case, it seems he does have a reason, which is, of course, because this is his mother. So the idea is that he would inherit that title after he put his mother on the throne. I'm a little surprised he didn't have claims himself, probably because they weren't pressed. And so, yeah, he wouldn't be able to do that. Yeah, he doesn't have a claim there. So... So yeah, that does mean that the, the Duke of Bulgaria would then become the Emperor. Uh, so that's what the goal here is. Uh, so yeah, he actually has a reason, uh, which I think that I found that to be kind of interesting here. Uh, he is he actually has a reason for putting her on, because a lot of times they don't. They just pick random people because they're unhappy. Uh, I guess it makes sense. The idea here is that, uh, you know, the Emperor sucks, you don't like him, so you're going to get a new Emperor, maybe that person will be better. So yeah, we are a part of this. Uh, the military power is at 66% here. And we are the only member with the Duke of Bulgaria. Hopefully some other people join, because, yeah, this would be a disastrous rebellion. It's kind of unfortunate. Uh, yeah, let's hope we don't get pulled into a, a war that we're, we're destined to lose. But yeah, that's typically why I don't like giving anybody a hook on me, especially not a strong hook. It's just they always force you into something bad. Uh, so, French culture. A commoner of French heritage has been accosted in the streets of Patras, Patros, uh, over some minor offense. By making a statement in their defense, I could perhaps convince my wife, the equally French, the equally French of my good character, but I might be risk alienating my Greek peers. We can say the French are good people, and this is all just trying to make our wife uh, like us more as an arrogant character. I don't think we'd say that. We'd just say the Greeks are of superior moral fiber and get that prestige bonus. Yeah, I just don't think uh, our character would be saying anything about other cultures being superior. Uh, we did get 50 gold here. Nice. Uh, Steward is helping us out. Fantastic, because we need a bit more money to be able to upgrade these. Uh, you know, we can't build any more uh, buildings here. We'd have to upgrade them, and those are a lot more expensive. I think we need like 200 something. Or maybe not. Maybe we only need 142. Some of these were, yeah. Maybe it's just, uh, yeah, this one here, the trade port. I, I knew one of them was 200 that we could upgrade. Uh, these ones, of course, we won't be able to upgrade until we get new techs. Which we did get a, uh, you know, I, I said tech, but I meant fascination. We did get that one fascination, and I think it was still in this one here, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, you know what? It was this one. So that unlocks all the early medieval era economic buildings, and also reduces building construction time. Yep, that's what we got. 
Hey, so the map. My spies have informed me about a hunter uh, causing a ruckus at the local tavern. The man has been spending large amounts of gold and bragging loudly about the great deal he struck with a fancy lady in pearls and silk. Apparently he drew a map of the local hills for an unknown, unknown noblewoman. The spies think the lady must be scheming against me or one of my subjects. So this is interesting. We saw uh, a few episodes ago, we saw this event uh, happen on the other side where we could have somebody... Uh, draw us a map and and they told us the risk is that he could go brag about it and looks like that's exactly what ended up happening here so we can say thank you for bringing this to my attention we become more vig vigilant getting intrigue and scheme resistance or he said that idiot belongs in my dungeon in which case we'd arrest him what would we do yeah I mean I don't know I guess you could say as an arrogant character maybe we'd say that one I don't really have any reason to put him in the dungeon, but why not? We'll do that. We'll put him in the dungeon, guys. And we actually have people in our dungeon. I, I completely forgot about this character here uh, last episode. Uh, doesn't look like we can get any money for him. He's too broke. And with him not having any titles, and no, yeah, no longer even being the marshal, he's probably not going to get any more money. Uh, so what we could do is instead do it for a favor... And then if he was to earn any more money, you know, let's just do, let's just do this, guys. Yeah, it, it's fine. I don't, I don't see anything else we would do. Well, maybe we would recruit him. Yeah, you know what? That's what we'll do. Recruit him. Uh, I think he would be uh, great to recruit uh, because he'd make a, a great knight. So yeah, let's go and recruit him. Uh, that'd be the best way to, to deal with him, I think. Uh, we have her as well. And it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get any money for her. Just get a hook and maybe be able to use it later. And then we have this character here, uh, of course, that we just arrested. He doesn't have any money, which you'd expect him to have some money because of the fact that he just sold that map. Uh, I guess he had already spent it all in the tavern. Uh, so we could recruit him. He's actually would be a decent marshal. We already know that he spills the beans on any secrets that he has. Uh, but yeah, he would be a, a really good leader. Maybe we'll do that. Yeah, we'll recruit him. All right, so everybody will agree to this, and got us one new knight and one new military leader. All right, so again, um, we're gonna go ahead and declare war here in a few years, in a year or two, or something like that. I don't know. Again, I'm trying not to declare war too often because we're content. Yeah, another year or two or whatever, and we'll declare war over here and try and get in, uh, another county. So the task has been finished, and it looks like we were able to uncover a secret on this character here, on uh, this bishop. So let's go and blackmail him. And he would, of course, agree. And then let's go ahead and try and get that money from him, which he has plenty. So we'll demand a payment from him. All right, excellent. So a little extra gold there. Again, trying to get up to like two something uh, to be able to build here. Oh, it looks like we can get the high tent upgrade. Uh, so yeah, we could do that. That would increase our levies by a bit more. Also, it would give our archers further bonuses. Yeah, I suppose we'll do that. I've been really focusing on buildings rather than on our men at arms, guys. Just trying to get our economy uh, improved, and and you know you can also get the levies here, uh, which is helpful. Yeah, really trying to get the economy improved though. We're at 5.8 now uh, per month. That's not bad for for account. Uh, scheme at court. My spy master has come to me with grave news. While we do not know who yet, someone is planning to kill my guest. And maybe that's who had the map done. I was trying to kill that, that character. Uh, we could hire this guy uh, as a, a knight. Uh, so we say, must stop the villain behind this. I don't think we'd frankly care about all that. How are we doing on knights? Let's just take a look. Because we have up to six. And it looks like our crudiest knight is... 14. So yeah, he's not even as good as our, our crudiest knight. Yeah, we got a good group of knights, guys. Not a bad group of knights. So yeah, we'll, we'll give it a little bit more time and then declare war on here. That is supposed to be happening in this episode, though. Have a little conflict. Uh, we were able to get the, the control up here. I don't know why we did that. I assume it was last episode. Uh, we did get the heraldry. All right, excellent. Uh, so just looking at what that granted. Let's see here. I think it was in, in this one. That we have uh, gotten that. Maybe it's older. I don't think so. Maybe it was in here. Yeah, it's in this one here. 
So that allows us to get the high partition law. Okay, we should change to that immediately. I thought so. I thought it had something to do with the laws. So yeah, I think we should we should definitely change, guys. Uh, I think that would be good. Uh, that would result in us getting half of the titles available, meaning we might end up getting one extra county for our son here. Uh, as of right now, if you look at it, uh, we're losing two counties. This might change that. I'm not sure. We'll have to see, guys. But yeah, it looks like we'd have to improve the opinion with these two vassals before we were able to do that. It's be kind of difficult to do as long as we don't have them in any position. Uh, this guy would make an okay marshal, so we could hire him for marshal, and that would improve his opinion. Him, he's not great at anything, but his opinion's not as low either. Uh, so yeah, we might want to, to do something about that, guys. Let's take a look. Uh, I think we're still swaying our wife right now, so we'll let that finish before we, we change that at all. Uh, but yeah, we could place that guy in the steward position. That mayor is actually better. So yeah, we'll go ahead and place him there. I know that's going to irritate that one character, but that's fine. All right, so now he's at negative 17. He's at negative 30. Much more manageable at this point. I'm trying to get those guys' uh, opinions up. Let me see if there's anybody here. Like, would he be a better chancellor? I mean, this is our, our one knight here. He's really not that great. And if we did that, then we'd only have to get one character's opinion improved. Yeah, so we'll do that, guys. So let's finish this scheme to get... Our wife's opinion improved. And another faction was created here. Oh, we're the only one in this faction now to install her. So he left that faction. All right. Um, yeah, I'm not interested in being this, but we are forced to stay until 1118, despite the fact that the character we started is gone. So we are forced to stay in the faction. And because it's a strong hook too, that does mean that he'll be able to use it against us again uh, at a certain point uh, on 11:13. So he could force us into his new faction that he just started. Uh, that's great. Uh, so we were able to improve her opinion. Excellent. Uh, now let's go ahead and do uh, that one character here, the marshal, improve his opinion. And unhealthy relations. My lord, the malady is contagious. Be wary. My spy master holds me back. The diseased body of a commoner, skin marred by rashes and bumps, rests upon the table. Anyone who comes into contact with the corpse risks infection. And I was planning an outing that would take me close to Thebes, the holding of the mayor. So, we say launch it towards Thebes. So this is the, the rival event that we've seen uh, in the last series. You saw it quite a bit. It could result in you having a rivalry here. And then you can, uh, you know, launch, you know, a body towards the mayor. In which case, he can then try and launch it back at us. Uh, I don't think we would do that, frankly. I don't, we don't even have any reason to do that either. Uh, we can say the body might contain clues as to the disease's origin. In which case, we get the studying corpses plus two learning. We'll gain stress because we're arrogant, so apparently we wouldn't do that. And we're content, so that's another reason why I don't, I don't think we'd do that. Or we can say he will have a dignified burial, and that's the one we'll do. We'll get that piety, guys. Alright, so today's episode is going to be a shorter episode, guys. I just don't have as so much time to record. And we did find a seeker here. Excellent. Uh, so let's go ahead and blackmail this character. Everybody's going to hate us because we blackmailed like everybody in the Byzantine Empire. We did finish up the camp cooks. Excellent. Uh, so that's uh, more levies, as well as the other benefits that we're getting there, for, especially for those archers. But yeah, we, we will have a shorter episode in this one, guys. But we are going to have an episode on Thanksgiving Day, on Thursday. Alright, so we can also blackmail this character now. Uh, did we already blackmail him? Yeah, we already blackmailed him. Okay, that's right. Uh, so, I I'm not seeing why we can't demand a payment from him. Probably because he doesn't have any money. Yeah, he doesn't have any money. Uh, but yeah, we will have an episode on Thanksgiving Day. Uh, however, uh, and of course that's because I record the episodes the day before. So I'll record on, on Wednesday, I'll record Thanksgiving Day's episodes, and we'll have an episode that day. However, on Thanksgiving, I won't be doing any recordings. So therefore, on uh, Friday, we will not have an episode. So we'll have an episode on Thursday, but one, uh, but none on, on Friday. Uh, just make that clear. We'll increase our domain limit. Not that it helps us at all, considering the fact that we have plenty of room under our domain limit. And our liege was able to win his war with 
the Duke Dragon. What was that? Dragos? That was his name? That's kind of cool. We should have named one of our sons that. Uh, the Road. My steward, Cosmos, informs me that there is a desperate need for a new road to traverse the county of Achaia, which is our capital. Many of the old roads are dilapidated and even dangerous. A commoner by the name of Ak- Akakios or something like that, uh, Akios, has been put forward as the natural leader of the construction effort. All right, uh, so we could do this event. And of course, all the, these events here with improving our domain is is because of the, the lifestyle that we are currently working on, guys. Uh, so, yeah, we can hire this character here, say I see it, see it done, and uh, the project will begin. We can say that my steward will handle this instead, or we can say those roads are good enough uh, for our ancestors. And maybe as a content character, you might actually say exactly that. But the, the thing that I'm looking at here is that this is our, our, our lifestyle, guys, to focus on our domain. So in that case, we should probably do these here. Because, uh, yeah, you could say that uh, we probably shouldn't be even trying to improve our domain. Uh, if you're going to argue that a content character is not going to improve their domain, then we shouldn't even be doing this lifestyle focus because these things are going to keep on popping up. And that we should instead be doing like one of these two here. Um, I guess wealth, you could argue a content character wouldn't do that either. So you'd have to go with like the uh, the duty focus, I suppose. Uh, so, yeah, we can say see it done or the steward will handle it. Uh, I don't know if the stewardship rating is, is what determines how well they do. Well, let's just assume that it is, in which case we'd want our steward to handle it because he's a little bit better at that job. Uh, up to the task. You know, I never did take a look at our wife when we got a new spouse here to see if we wanted to change up what she was getting. Uh, doing here right now she's getting a total of 10 points for us here uh, so you're really not gonna get any better than that and there's nothing specifically that we really have to have here I mean they're all uh, beneficial I expect you could I suppose you could say that court intrigue would be helpful because it's a plus seven and she's pretty damn good at it and our intrigue is absolutely garbage yeah we have very very poor intrigue here so you could say that uh, we might do that uh, but I think assist ruler is probably fine uh, up to the task. Some of my counselors believe the job is theirs by right of blood or influence alone. How wrong they are. I expect results, yet I am often disappointed. After a long day, I'm, compl- I'm complaining to my wife when she interrupts me. Let me do something about it, husband. A few lessons might sharpen their wits. All right, so she might actually improve some of their abilities. So we can say improve the chancellor's ability. He'll get two plus diplomacy and one plus learning. Uh, we can instead do the marshal. Where we can do the steward. Well, let's take a look at at them and see which one would be better. The only one that's not a powerful vassal and thus should be in a position is the steward here. And uh, you know what's really would be helpful is that oh never mind that decreases opinion never mind. So some of them increase the opinion while others do not. I guess it depends on their maybe their traits perhaps. Because it looks like the marshal was insulted. Maybe because his marshal skill is higher? I'm not entirely sure, again, what impacts that, but the steward or the chancellor would be better uh, Would be better with it. They would be grateful. So I think we'd want to do one of those two then, in that case. The steward's better than the, the chancellor. I suppose we'll do the chancellor, because he's pretty cruddy. So we'll improve his ability a bit. Soothing the pain. I was at the market with Thomas. His attention was caught by a criminal chain in the pillory. When the man begged for water, so again, we've just seen this one here. Uh, so uh, that would gain him the compassionate trait, which seems like he might be a compassionate character given what he has here. Could st- instead make him arrogant, or he can make him callous. Yeah, I think we'll do this one. Again, I, I think he's going to make a fantastic priest, perhaps. Rather than letting him take a count- county, maybe making him a priest would be good. I think he'd be a really good fit for it. Uh, if we were just like, if you just look at his learning uh, already, it's at nine, and that's even without his education. I think he's going to have a fantastic learning, guys. The work on the road in Achaia is progressing, but the stretch of land currently being prepared goes beyond a hill, far from both villages on either side. Both villages are reluctant to provide workers, and there is uncertainty over who even owns the fife beyond the hill. Uh, so we can say, then we will take workers from both villages. Road progress is, is increased by two, and of course they'll be unhappy with us. We say, I will pay for the work there myself, uh, and in which case... Oh, okay, so you get the the road progress and the wor- road quality. So with this one, we'd d- be done quicker. With this one, we'd have a better road. 
Or you say, if there is uncertain uncertainty, the fiefdom re reverts to me. Or you say fiefdom, however you want to say that, fife fief. Uh, and this would give us personal land honings, uh, control growth plus 25%, so that's really not that helpful because it's our capital. Yeah, I think we might do the pay for the work myself. Perhaps. Because right, again, I don't, I don't really feel like there's any of these that we'd do, be more likely to do. Maybe take the workers from both villages, I suppose. Yeah, again, I, I don't think that uh, any of these are... Because uh, arrogant doesn't necessarily mean that we would do this one here. Maybe you could say that this one, if there's uncertainty, then it reverts to me. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. Uh, that kind of feels more like greedy uh, than than arrogant. I'll just say this one here, because that's the, the one I think is best for us. Uh, did finish up the fine secret task, and thus we found uh, another lover relationship. Oh, interesting. So she's homosexual, so she has a relationship she might not want revealed. Uh, so yeah, let's. It didn't matter whether she wants it revealed or not. We're gonna we're gonna blackmail her that way. See what she says. 100% uh, acceptance there. And the road, robbers. Even an unfinished highway has highwaymen, it seems. Cosmos has problems with supplies that never arrive, and workers who are scared of leaving their villages. At this rate, the road in Achaia will never be finished. So we can post guards along the road, or say, I do not care, finish my road. Alright, so this one increases progress and quality by one. Reduces the overall levy size. That's not good. That's for 10 years. And that's of our our capital. Yeah, that's not good at all. Yeah, I think that's that's punishing, man. 10 years? Yeah, that's quite a long time, guys. Uh, I think we'll just go with this one here. And uh, we'll just have to increase the control there. Uh, so that's fine. Doesn't take that long. And yeah, we'll have reduced money and levies for time. But of course, you know, obviously, it's not going to be 10 years. Uh, so, is there anything we want to move uh, here at all? Obviously, we I think we're we're good on just about everything. Yeah, I think everything else is fine. We could always do the domestic affairs to get his opinion up quicker. Um, but I think we're yeah we're about halfway done, so we'll just finish it up, let that complete. Uh, looking at our development, we're at 17 now, so not bad. Uh, the end of the road. It's finally been completed. It is very functional, he tells me. So we got the improved road. So probably not the best thing we could have got here. Uh, so we're going to get plus 2% taxes and development growth will be quicker. And we're going to get a stewardship perk, so there is that at least. And with that, we can now get the architect, architect trait. That's what we'll get. And that does uh, give us a plus 2 stewardship, putting our stewardship at 17 now. And uh, buildings are cheaper to construct, as are holdings. Uh, but we're not really working on holdings just yet. Focusing on, on getting the buildings constructed. Uh, our sister Zoe died, and we actually lost stress. Did we not like her? <laughs> we must have not liked her, because uh, she died, and we actually lost stress. Wow. Yeah, apparently, we didn't like her sister at all. Uh, out of all of our uh, siblings, the only one still left is Nikolaus, our murdering older brother. Uh, great A's. As a stray arrow whizzes past my head in the yard, I feel nothing. No fear, no anger, no panic. This has been this has been par for the course recently. I feel as if I exist behind a curtain keeping me from my feelings and the world, and I am so tired. Oh no, are we feeling depressed? Uh, drifting apart, times and people change. Okay, so yeah, we've seen this before. And yeah, I think we're just gonna do it as a way of things. It's, it's about time. It's just, my friendships, there's just nothing there anymore, guys. Uh, we're able to sway that guy, so that means we can change up our succession laws. We'll do that in a minute. Uh, let's look at this event first. Uh, what is the meaning of it all? Why do we go through these motions day after day after day? Motivation and energy escapes me as my life sinks into gray dullness. I feel like I should be panicking, but even that is beyond me now. Oh no. We're depressed, guys. Well, that's unfortunate. Maybe our the death of our sister affected us more than I thought. That's what it seems. So yeah, that has all those penalties there. A little bit surprised with that. Uh, so let's do this here because events just keep on popping up, guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and change up our succession law. Uh, well, now the mayor here doesn't like us. The one who did like us doesn't now. <laughs> wow. 
Oh, he approves, though. Uh, probably because he, he fears us. So let's go and change the law. And move over to high partition. And we'll see if that changes anything. It doesn't look like it did. Yeah, they're still set to get these two counties. Uh, well, maybe not. All right, so we would keep that. That one county. We're only going to lose the, the one county that we got in that war. That's it. All right, excellent. That's what I thought was going to happen. Also, but thrown off when we we're still losing them both. Uh, DBNC. While performing his duties as my spy master, he's uncovered a secret held by the mayor. Uh, the ways in which he seeks pleasure is revolting for any decent man to even think of. And yet he's not merely willing, but eager. It feels so unnatural and sickening. No, it is unnatural and sickening. An offense against God. So we learn of his deviant secret. And he's just a mayor, so... He's a eunuch. Wow. Okay. Is that the right character? Yeah. He's a, a eunuch who is also deviant. Oh. I'm not entirely sure how that works. I mean, I guess you still could be. Just seems... A little bit strange. Ah, uh, yes, that's right. We want to uh, blackmail that character now. Uh, or not, excuse me, not blackmail, but demand a payment from him. Uh, and he does have the money. So here we go. We're making good money from, from this, guys. Very good money. And I guess we'll keep him doing the secrets there since he's content, or there, excuse me, because he's continuing to have success there. Lots of people have secrets, apparently. And uh, we gain some prestige from our wife, encouraging chivalry. All right, so I think it's about time to declare war, guys. Uh, so uh, I guess we can wait until we get the control all the way up here. There we go. And our hook, unfortunately, did expire on the Baroness. And a sinful bishop was exposed. So we now have our marshal back organizing levies. I suppose we'll keep him do that. Uh, keep him doing that, excuse me. Uh, we do have a lot of money here that we could make use of. Let's go ahead and improve the trade port since that is kind of expensive, though it did get much cheaper uh, since we had those benefits. So we're going to get that. I think that would be helpful. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and declare war. Uh, well, we'll take a look. It looks like she now has this title. She took it. Uh, so she has a lot more troops now at this point. So she still has these two allies as well. And they also have a lot of troops so I I don't know if we'll be able to declare war right now guys yeah this is uh they say similar numbers I suppose we do have our ally as well and and we do have almost 2,000 troops here so there is that uh, but yeah I think maybe what we'll do is spend just a little bit of money increasing up our men at arms before we actually attack here guys I think that'd be wise uh, so yeah let's go and do that let's go and improve the light horsemen a bit Increase their size there. And then, I don't know how much these guys cost, but we might improve them as well, real quick. Improve them by a point as well. Let's try and get these numbers up some. So yeah, they'll need to, to build those those up. And then I suppose next, we can go with this one here. Uh, it's probably not going to have much of an impact, guys. We're at 3.7. Again, I don't expect this to improve it much. Yeah, 3.8, so just 0.1. Didn't really get much from it, which is the reason why we hadn't done it yet. Uh, we're able to get another seeker here. Again, this is just this island. Everybody over here just getting crazy. <laughs> and uh, they all got secrets. Well, we'll take it. Uh, we could romance her, but we want to we want to blackmail her. And then try and get her to pay us. So she didn't have any money. Oh, okay, well, that's a shame. Ah, whatever, it's fine. And don't we have... Yeah, we have a secret. Did we... We could force her to join our faction, which we don't want to do. We're trying to get out of that faction, actually. Uh, we could demand a payment from her. You know what, guys? I really feel like having a strong hook on her that doesn't expire would be super useful, though. So, you know what? We're going to keep that hook on her, guys. Uh, I could see that, that being useful in the future. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll keep him here since he's still finding secrets there. I want to see how they're relationship is gone yeah they're already having some some children here they have a son so they also have a daughter so we could arrange uh you know a marriage for their daughter there uh, since we do still have several sons that need uh, a marriage uh, his um, betrothed is now 13 and she has her three traits she's cynical just and oh, okay she has two of her traits uh, she hasn't gotten the third one just yet uh, so far, she's not looking bad, guys. Uh, yeah, not too shabby at all. 
might end up being a, a decent, uh, you know, a decent marriage. You never know uh, when you do the marriage for them when they're so young. You don't you don't know how they're gonna turn out. Uh, so yeah, it's good that it's it's turned out to be an, an okay uh, marriage. And looks like both of our other sons, uh, the two twins, have come of age. Uh, Magnus, of course, he has the skilled tactician, which is great. That's a plus three. And then he got the uh, uh, yeah, he got that. That's unfortunate. That's not really the the best commander trait. I wish he would have got another one, honestly. Uh, but anyway, he he did okay. He got a, a level three. He did pretty decent, I should say. While our other son also did uh, level three. Uh, so that means he's got a hey, pretty good learning, guys. Not bad at all. Uh, so he's the one that's currently set. He's actually set to inherit two counties because he's also going to inherit. Well, he wouldn't inherit that town county. That's from his brother. So he's set to inherit that county right there. Thomas is. Uh, so also we finished the the fishing net weavers here. So a nice little chunk of money there got us back up to where we were at before we hired those men at arms. This could have increased that further if we wanted to. But yeah, I, I really feel like Thomas would make a great priest, guys. So I think that's what we're gonna do here, guys. Ask him to take the vows. And we could use the hook to force it. Uh, but yeah, I think he would make a great uh, priest. It doesn't change the inheritance at all because it would just be uh, his other brother, which would be uh, Magnus, would uh, end up inheriting that county instead, which is kind of a bummer because I wanted Magnus to be uh, our our knight, but he's a, he's a cruddy knight anyway. So I mean, he's got a prowess of five. Uh, his marshals his marshals okay. Uh, but yeah, honestly, uh, he's bisexual too. He's just open to anything. What about his brother? His brother's heterosexual. So yeah, I think yeah, I think we'll just end up uh, making him be a priest. I think that's the best way to do this, guys. Because uh, again, doesn't doesn't impact the inheritance at all. And I I think he'd make a fantastic priest. I think he'd have a great uh, a great career in the church. So let's ask him to take the vows. And looks like he refused. <laughs> yeah, he's not willing to do it. That's surprising. I think he'd make a really good... Uh, maybe it's just because he's had to inherit a county and that's why he doesn't want to do it. I'm a little bit surprised with that, guys. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, whatever. If he really doesn't want to do it. I mean, we could always ask him again later uh, if he wants to. He might change his opinion change up his tune a little bit. Again, it doesn't change the inheritance at all, because no matter what, one of our sons is going to get that county right there. Uh, so yeah, it doesn't, doesn't change anything. Uh, but we do need to arrange a marriage for these two characters, uh, Magnus and Thomas. But you know what? We're probably going to do that next episode, guys. Uh, because again, this is a shorter episode, so I don't really want to spend time looking for wives right now. And they're still young, uh, so I'm not too worried about it. And, and plus, Thomas, we might still try and get him to go into church. Uh, so in that case, he doesn't need to be married. Uh, accusations of witchcraft. I, I want to say we've seen this event, uh, this this uh, series already. Yeah, I'm, I feel like we did. So we say that evidence is circumstantial. Release her. We say she must burn for her crimes against God, or at which you say I could use a new advisor. All right, well, let's do. I don't know what we did last time. I don't remember. But I, I suppose you could do any of these here. I think, you know what, actually, this was one where I, I was playing with a fickle trait, so I picked one and then I just went and picked the other one because it really doesn't matter which one we do here. Uh, let's do this one. All right. Uh, also, in that, that Thursday Thanksgiving episode, I was thinking about having the first um, historical uh, discussion or, or lecture, whatever you want to call it. Uh, technically, we had one very short one in the beginning, uh, of the series, but I was thinking about doing another one, guys. Uh, another historical lecture next episode, and of course you'll be able to skip it up with a timestamp in the in the pinned comment, so you can skip that. Uh, so yeah, he can't find anything else. I mean, he found a lot of secrets there, guys. Uh, let's find another court. Uh, we could try there now, and we could also try uh, having him come here again, see if he has more success this time than he did last time. Uh, spouse, tourney day. All right, so there's Magnus, her son. He's involved in this somehow. The sun is shining and peasants are milling about the tourney hosted by my wife. Uh, so all of our knights cheer as the countess announces the tournament in their honor. And for once, I get to simply sit and watch. I'm not going to spend an entire tourney day stuck to a throne, however. So I can say I too cheer for the knights or this day is our honor, my dear. Yeah, I think we'd probably do that one. Sounds like something an arrogant character would say. Yeah, we'll do that one. 
uh, being arrogant, we've been doing a pretty good job considering you know who we are and that we're a count. We've been doing a pretty good job uh, getting our fame increased. And unfortunately, we are sick, guys. We're ill again. Uh, we say do no more than is what is necessary or it is too late for caution, which we didn't do because we're content. So yeah, we'll just do this one. If we die, we die. And that's what God wants from us. And it looks like he did a good job. All right, excellent work. So we reduced our disease symptoms. Don't know what we have just yet. And we do need to pick a guardian for our youngest son as well. And Constance just came of age. And it looks like she did a fantastic job, Elusive Shadow. Remember, our wife helped her with that. That's one reason why she did so well. Uh, so we do have to find a marriage for her. Again, we're going to do the, the marriages next episode, guys, since this is already a shorter episode. And I want to find some really good marriages. Uh, I mean, hopefully a good alliance is what I'm looking for, guys. I think that would be uh, great if we could get a, a good good alliance. Hopefully from a neighbor who could, could help us in this co upcoming conflict here. Which, again, we're just kind of building up our... Uh, troops here which we have done so we could go ahead and declare war on these guys here i think it might be best for her to already be in a conflict oh she's already at conflict yeah they're fighting each other uh so yeah maybe that's a fantastic time to declare war here let me just take a look here and i i, I haven't forgot about our son we're gonna do that guys here in a minute so 2,000 troops is what it's saying. Even though when I looked at her allies, her allies had a lot more troops. I don't know if they lost some. But yeah, we have similar uh, numbers here. So let's go ahead and uh, get our son assigned, Cyrus. We need to... Uh... All right, so he's pensive. Right, we already have a learning education for our son, so let's do uh, stewardship instead. And then we're going to want to get him educated, which we'll educate him ourselves, I think. I think that'd be best. Oh, we already have that selected. My bad. So yeah, let's educate him ourselves. Since we are so good at stewardship. And this is almost done. And it looks like he was not able to find any secrets. So let's just go somewhere else. We'll try over here now. I mean, we don't Again, we don't have to like do it on uh, neighbors, I suppose. I suppose what we could do is try and do it against that guy who has the strong hook against us. And yeah, he still has it. Uh, where the hell is this dude's capital? Alright, it's right here. In this province. Got it. Right there. Alright, so we'll, we'll look over there and see if we can't find anything. Alright, so we are ready to declare war on her. Eh, hopefully it goes well. She doesn't have any troops. She's, she's clearly losing this conflict. She does have our ally still. So yeah, we waited a long time before we declared war. Uh, I said five years. We waited a lot longer. We waited nine years. So pretty long wait. Long enough for a content character, I feel. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and declare war for our claims here. The numbers just got smaller. She must have just lost a battle. And let's just take a look. Yeah, she's <laughs> got Haiti troops. Uh, there's not a lot of dudes. Um, let's go ahead and pull in our own allies. So we'll pull in the Countess. I don't know how many troops she can bring. 519. She would be willing to accept. That's us spend some prestige, but that's okay. So we're going to call in our ally. And then we can also call in Count Michael as well. Which he has 300 troops, and that'll be helpful. So we'll pull him in too. And then let's go ahead and, and raise our troops up here. I we'll want to raise them right here. Oops. I always forget to, to click on the button here. All right, we also almost have our development up again. That'll get up to level 18, more money and stuff. All right, so let's go to raise the army up. Oops, we gotta turn this down a bit. Of course, they're going to accept coming into the conflict. All right, so let's go after this mountain province first, which the war goal is for. And they have been willing to join us, as, as, as has her allies. So, as of right now, she still has one ally that hasn't joined, and that's the one with the most troops. But as of right now, we definitely outnumber her considerably. So, it should be a really easy conflict. Fantastic time to do this. It would have been a little bit more even fight here if she wasn't at war with her neighbor. Yeah, this was a great time. Uh, seven months. Man, these, these sieges here. Uh, they just have such large forts through this area. So, these sieges take, take a while. Uh, we need to build up our own fort here. Uh, we only have level 3 for it, and they just siege it too damn quick. So we should probably build that up if we ever get any uh, extra money. Uh, we do have a stewardship perk, uh, so let's go ahead and get the 
We'll get this one here. We'll see how much it impacts it first. Uh, we're at negative 0.6 right now. I'm always curious how much it's going to impact it. Uh, give us 0.3 per month. All right, so yeah, just waiting for this battle to finish up. So yeah, we lost another wife. Was that our second wife? Yeah, it looks like that's her. Her second wife that we lost. Yeah, she was actually a really good wife. All right, so we're gonna get in a bit of stress from this and now we have to find a new wife. So let's go and arrange a marriage and, and oops, nope, that's not what we wanna do. We wanna find a spouse first. And uh, we don't need any more sons here that we can't give titles to. Uh, so yeah, we won't do anything here. We'll make sure it's an adult, fertile, a healthy adult. And uh, maybe look for an, well, we don't want inheritable traits actually. I suppose we can look to see if there's any good alliances, but no, there's not any. Uh, we might want to also sort this, say no lowborn. All right, so let's take a look. Yeah, there's like no good alliances here. Let's take a look at the sum of all skills. Um, could go with this genius here. That is not the same genius that we were looking at before. Obviously, she's she's a lot older. Uh, but yeah, uh, she's Czech. She has great diplomacy. She has great stats overall. Yeah, she's a fantastic fit. Probably not going to have any other kids either. Yeah, we'll go and we'll do her. We'll lose 100 prestige. That's okay. And when she agrees to that, we'll take a look at our, our spouse on the council and see if uh, there's anything we want to adjust here. As of right now, we're getting, uh, what's that, 6, 10, 12, 13 points. Wow, quite a few points from her. Could get the 11 for diplomacy or the 9 for intrigue. Kind of make up some of our... Our weak points here. Uh, she's given, only given us one on the stewardship right now. Yeah, I, I kind of feel like I, I kind of feel like putting her in like court politics or court intrigue would would be the best way to go here. Uh, but you know, we'll just we'll keep on our sis ruler, I guess. Uh, that court intrigue is just so garbage. Maybe we will do that actually. Let's do the court intrigue. Just switch this up a little bit. Yeah, I think that'd be worth it, guys. I guess we could go and improve her opinion now. This mayor, we've been just keeping that going, but it's not really necessary. So yeah, let's go and improve opinion with our, our new wife. I'm gonna try and swear. Only 58% chance of success. She really doesn't like us very much. And she's got the schemer trait as well. She finished up that lifestyle. All right, uh, so we'll put this up to speed forward since it's probably not gonna be any battles or anything like that. It's just gonna be us taking their capital here. What are What is she doing here? Because this is her ally. I'm guessing it's another war. Okay, yeah, she's in another war. In fact, looks like she's helping her out in a rebellion. Okay. So yeah, that's uh, almost 1,200 troops that could make the difference here. Uh, well, given, I guess that army doesn't count. Or no, it does count. Yeah, that's 1,200, almost 1,200 troops. Uh, they could probably defeat us here. Well, maybe not with our allies assisting. And we're no longer ill. Fantastic. Lost the ill trade. So, yeah, but yeah they attacked here. They, uh, with the allies' assistance, I don't think they'd win, but uh, without our allied assistance, they would be able to, to defeat us there. And attempted murder. Oh, okay, this is one of the secrets here. Uh, so, this is the Count here. And so, we're going to blackmail him. Excellent. And our son Magnus has no reason to stay here. He's about to leave court. Uh, well, that's not good, because I don't want him to to leave. I'd prefer that he, he stays here. Hmm. Yeah, and that's kind of a shame. I don't know if there's anything that we could we could do here, though, uh, to get him to stay. Uh, he doesn't have great learning. As far as you could appoint him as a court physician just to keep him here, though. And maybe that's what we'll do, even though he sucks at it. Yeah, we'll just do that. Um... Uh, but that would remove Zacharias, who's done a fantastic job as our spy master. He's done a great job as a court physician. I uh, would be disappointed by that as well. Uh, but yeah, I, I really don't want Magnus to leave here, and that's the only way I can think to, to you know, force him to stay. Unless we were to force him as a knight, I suppose we could do that. Uh, I know he's a cruddy knight, but I feel like this is like, you know, learning, uh, learning on the job. Let's do that. Let's force him to be a knight. There we go, and then he won't leave. All right, and then we're gonna want blackmail, or excuse me, we're gonna want to force his payment. All right, 
Excellent. A little extra 55 gold there. All right, so uh, almost got that battle done. We'll see how much that affects the war score. The Guild of Stonemasons has established itself in the county of Demetrius. Having dedicated craftsmen in my personal service could help the region flourish. So I say I will strike a deal with the Chief Mason, and it looks like we have a very good chance to get a deal going. Uh, whether it's a, a great deal, we're getting prestige and uh, increased control level here. It's only 31% chance, but overall a very good chance to get something good here. Uh, we can say Cosmos earn me their allegiance, in which case he'll use his stewardship to do it. We, we have higher stewardship, so you can see our chances are better as if we were to do it. We say, why would I need the help when I have serfs? Uh, well, yeah, we'll go ahead and try and strike up a deal here. And we'll see what kind of deal we get. Hopefully it's a great one. After a lengthy, lengthy audience, the Chief Mason will budge no further. For a lower price than this, it cannot be done. So we say, then we have an agreement. In which case, we'll lose 55 gold and gain 75 prestige. Or I say, surely I can find cheaper Masons somewhere else. Yeah, we'll do this one, guys. A little bit of extra gold. And uh, again, just I know we're not building there, but it does help. If we were to decide to build there... I guess we could build there, considering the fact we know that that title's supposed to go to our son. Uh, we did win here, uh, so where do we want to go next? I suppose we'll go after her capital, because we're only at 51% here, guys. Now, if they attack us, then that would be a problem. Um, you know, this is in the mountains here, so we'd want to avoid them attacking us. And we'll, we'll go ahead and get this set up here so we can see how long this siege is going to take. It's going to be four months. This is not, not very long, but if she comes around here and attacks us, uh, I don't know, guys, because she would have the recently disembarked penalty. So it's really hard to say. We would outnumber her two to one. She would have the mountain bonus. I think we'd probably win that if she did attack us. Now, she could have additional ben benefits from the province. It's not something to consider as well. Let's see if she's getting any. Nope, she's not. Okay. Uh, so that unfortunately is going to be the end of today's episode. Again, I had to do a little bit shorter episode today, but still pretty long episode comparatively. Uh, so I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Uh, next episode, which again, we will have a Thursday Thanksgiving episode. So in our Thursday Thanksgiving episode, we'll have uh, a little historical lecture in the beginning. Again, I'll put a timestamp on there. I should put a timestamp on there where you can where you can skip that. Also, we'll get marriages arranged for all of our children. Uh, we have sons and a daughter who need uh, marriages arranged. So we'll take care of that. Maybe we'll get some good allies in the process. We'll have to see. Uh, so yeah, I will see you guys on that next episode. And thanks for watching.